Hey, Monkey Man Outdoors here. Today I will be showing you where I found all the skulls at in the woods. And as you can see, I'm just now leaving home. So I'll be there in a bit for the first one, and I'll see you there. Now if you're looking for horns, a good place that I've actually found one shedding is an area where there is actually a bunch of leaves. For whatever reason, deer and elk love to rub on trees with leaves. So here's a good example. This whole tree looks like it's just been rubbed on like crazy. Rubbing off that velvet. Now there could honestly be a horn underneath these leaves and I would not even know it. You always gotta keep a good eye out. They are hard to find. But, if you look hard enough, you will find one eventually. So right in here is where I found two skulls. One was in pretty bad shape. The other one is the really bleached looking one. I don't exactly remember where I found, it, found them though. But, I know that it's very thick in here and that it is good killing grounds for a good old cougar snack you know and I will be showing you the others here pretty soon but here's just a little taste of what it's like in the actual woods off trail there's many deer trails and such. If you go off trail, you can find a few bones. And when you find a few bones, you can actually end up finding the body and the head. And that's how I found many of the skulls that I have found. So I'll be showing you some good examples of that here in a bit so stay tuned here's how you find a skull so there's a bone there you keep on following him there's another bone more bones hey, look more bones look more bones there's a rib there. Now I've already found the skull for this one, but that's how I found it. It was right here. And there was a big, long one that's broken. And that's how you find the skull. And I'll show you the rest. Here's just another little taste of what it's like in the woods. You probably see a lot of turned up dirt from all the deer running. Some places it'll be open and some places it won't be. And sometimes you'll find some big old growths. I should be coming up upon another kill here pretty soon. Now with all these skulls, I don't actually know if they were killed by disease or by predator. But if the skull was chewed on and there's a lot of bones missing and scattered, you can probably assume it was by predator. 
but if a lot of the bones are still there and just around the area the vultures probably found it and probably just spread it out the bones a little bit but it was probably killed by disease now here's some more rubbings in there at least that's what it looks like There's lots of little trails going through here, as you can see. And there's probably a lot more open area in these forests than you think. Now I'm coming up close to this, oh I'm coming up close to another body that I've already found the skull to. Uh, I believe that is from it right there. Now hopefully I can find it again. <laughs> but we shall see what I can do. Now bones can be really far away from it or not as far as you think. And as this example, it was a little far, but I still found the rest of the body right here. And here's actually the jaw bones to the skull I found. And that's how you find the skulls. Hey, I just wanted to show you guys a little bit different terrain and different forests. So, here's what this one looks like. Now this one isn't really as old as the other forests, I don't think. It's much more overgrown and much harder to hike through. And can be very dangerous but if you know what to do you'll be fine but a lot of times you'll end up almost falling so what you gotta do is you gotta lean back now that won't always work for you but it works most of the time I still fall, but not as much. Whoa! Oh. And that's how Bigfoot does it. Now this is a pretty big zone for a lot of bucks to walk through. I know this because I've walked through here and I've seen quite a bit of rubbings on the trees to get the vel uh, velvet off. Now, another thing I found in here is that skull with the horns on it. And I am literally almost there. <laughs> so, woo, yeah. So here's a few of its bones right here. So if you just walk right through this trail here, it should be coming up. It should be. <laughs> or not so now where i found the head with the horns on it still 
is just through here. You can see that this area is a little open. And there's a lot of shedding, like a lot of uh, rubbings in here. Now there's the first bone. Then basically it's just a trail. So you just follow it. And then you find more bones. Like right here. So that's another bone from it. And this is actually where I found it. So the head was laying here, the horn was laying there, and the horn laying there. That's the spine right here. There's another leg bone, another bone, another bone, another bone. And as you can see, the bones just get spread everywhere. There's a rib. And I think if I walk back here farther, there will be more. This looks to be the job of a predator kill. But I will honestly never know for sure. But over here is more bones and why they're over here I honestly don't know but through this area there's a lot of deer sign and where the deer goes where you are likely to find a shedding now I've not found a shedding but I have found that head with the horns so odds of me finding a shedding are pretty good now, here's a deer trail right here. I honestly don't know where this goes, but we'll find out. Now, there's lots of random trails through here, and you could easily get lost, but my surroundings, if I go a mile in any direction, I'm go gonna find a road or an open log area, guaranteed. Now I don't know if the elk go through here too, but it is very possible and very likely. But I hope to find one of their antlers someday. But for now, I'm perfectly fine with what I find. Hey, I'm walking back right now. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to find deer skulls and deer sheds and where to look for them and what it's like in the woods. Now, up there is where I was and this is the below view. And just listen to this quietness. Doesn't happen very often, but when it does, you gotta love it. And I hope you all loved this video, and I hope you will hit that like button, and I will see you all next time. See ya!